Welcome back to another episode of Carson's Aquatics. Today is a big day. It's a day I've been excited about for a very long time, and that's because today we are switching some stuff up down here in the fish room. I've got a couple awesome fish that are currently alone in their tanks, and today we are going to be putting them with other fish for the first time in a long time. And I'll just start off by telling you why I'm doing all this. So basically, right here in my 125 gallon tank, my black belt cichlid Bruce is completely outgrowing all the other cichlids in this tank, and because of that, he's starting to get aggressive toward them. You can see Kobe up there just scared to death of him. See, look at that right there. He's chasing down the fire mouth. And a lot of you guys know, I used to have a convict cichlid in here with them. His name was Killer. And Killer did pass away, and I'm almost positive that he just got into a fight with Bruce. Because all his life, Killer was always the tank boss, no matter what tank he was in. And then when Bruce finally outgrew him, I think they just had a big fight, and Killer unfortunately lost that fight. However, this is normal. This is just what happens whenever one cichlid starts outgrowing the others. He just bullies them. But obviously, I don't want this to go on any longer, so we are going to be separating Bruce from the other cichlids. And here's the plan. We are are going to be taking Ike, my pike cichlid, out of this 75 gallon tank and putting him into the 125 with Bruce. So in this 125, it's only going to be Bruce and Ike. And I think that'll go fine because they are very close in size and they're also very close in aggression levels. Then we're going to be taking the blood parrot, the fire mouth, and the green terror cichlid out of this 125 and putting them in the 75. And also joining them in this tank is going to be Pluto, my flower horn. Pluto has just about outgrown his 25 gallon tank. So I've been wanting to move him to a bigger tank and I figured might as well try and throw him in the 75 with the other fish and of course if none of this works out and they all start fighting with their new tank mates i do have a backup plan for all these guys somewhere else they can go but i'm confident that this is all going to work out because also in this video we are going to be completely rescaping the 75 gallon and the 125 gallon tank so both of these tanks are going to be pretty much a brand new to these fish it'll be completely new ground and then when we get everyone in their new tank we're also going to shut off all the lights in this room i've heard that that also really helps whenever you add aggressive fish together so i really believe everything is going to work out fine and we are pretty much going to hop right into this the first thing we need to to do is remove Ike from the 75 gallon tank. From there, we're going to completely rescape this tank. You can actually see I've got some driftwood soaking in there. And then after that, we're going to start moving the fish to their new tanks. But again, the first thing we need to do is just get Ike out of the 75. So right now I am draining some of the tank water into a bucket that Ike will stay in for a little bit. And I'm also removing the driftwood for now. Now we're going to go in with our net and try and catch him. Oh God, I got him. Oh, that was quicker than I thought. Jeez, dude, he is so big in this bucket. Oh my gosh. Hold up, let me show you this. Look at the size of this fish, dude. Oh my goodness, he has grown so much since we first got him. He's probably pushing 10 inches, honestly. That is crazy. So now that Ike is out of here, we can go ahead and start scaping this tank. And I'm just gonna start by leveling out the sand. Ike loved digging around in here, so we just wanna get that nice and flat again. And now we're gonna start getting our driftwood in place. This stuff does not quite sink yet, so we're gonna get this in place and then put some rocks on it to hold it down. So I'm gonna put one rock right here to hold this side down, and we're gonna put this other one right over here and yeah there we go and of course over time this will fill up with water and it'll just stay down on its own then we can maybe move those rocks somewhere else then right here we have our next piece of driftwood this one is also super cool i think we'll have that back here so we're gonna bury that a little bit and then we'll just have a rock right here on the back side then i do want to make a little bit of a rock structure here in the middle and i think i might want to go get some fake plants from the pet store some like super tall ones that we can just put in the background but yeah we're just gonna make a nice little rock structure here there we go it's pretty sturdy on there too. And there we go. I am loving how that looks. Definitely later in this video, we are going to get some fake plants to go in here and the 125. And I think we're also going to get some smaller gravel to like go around the driftwood and the bigger rocks. I think that would make everything blend together really well. So we'll do that. I do want to get the fish in their new tanks first, but then we'll do that after. But now the next thing we need to do is just add the new fish into the 75. Once again, it's going to be my blood parrot, my fire mouth, my green tear, and my flower horn in here. So we're just going to go ahead and scoop them out and throw them on in here. I think I actually want to get them all out of the tank first and put them in a bucket. It, and then we'll put them all into the 75 at the exact same time. All right, we got all the driftwood and stuff out of the tank. So now we're just going to go in and scoop out everyone except for Bruce. All right, got Kobe right there. That was super easy. Oh, I got him. All right, now I just need the green terror. Yes, got him. So now we're going to go into the 25 gallon and catch Pluto, our flower horn. And got him. So right here we got all four of the fish that are going into the 75 gallon tank and all of these tanks are heated to the exact same temperature so there's no need to acclimate them today. So we're just going to go ahead and start scooping them out and putting them in their new tank. All right we got Pluto right here our flower horn and there he goes. Next up we've got our green terror cichlid. There she goes. Right here we got Kobe the blood parrot. There she goes as well. And then last but not least we do have our fire mouth and that guy is 
the biggest in this tank for now, but he's never really been super aggressive to anyone else. So that shouldn't be a problem. And yeah, everyone that's going in this tank is now in. So right now we've got Kobe and the Firemouth right over here on the left side under this big piece of driftwood. They're looking pretty good so far. Their colors look just fine. Then right over here we have Pluto and the Green Terror. Oh, Kobe's coming over to say hello. And Pluto's colors are actually looking pretty good so far as well. Doesn't look too, too stressed out. So I am gonna go ahead and turn this tank light off. I'm also gonna throw those glass lids back on there so no one jumps out. And we're gonna let them chill for a little bit. Hopefully all goes well, but we are gonna move on. So the next thing we need to do is get Bruce, the Black Belt Cichlid, out of the 125. He is gonna be staying in this tank, but I do wanna get him out temporarily so we can scape the tank. And essentially it's gonna like reset his mind in a way, like to him it's gonna feel like he's coming back into a new tank. And that's exactly what I want. That's gonna keep the aggression between him and Ike to a low. So like I said, we are gonna go ahead and scoop Bruce out of the 125. All right, Brucey, let's make this quick. Okay. Dude, he's so fast, bro. Come on, bro. There's no escaping. You can't escape me. Okay, yes, you can. There we go. There we go. Got him. And again, just look at the size of this fish. He has gotten massive. At one point, he was the smallest cichlid I owned, but he just quickly outgrew everyone else. So now we get to rescape the 125. This is what I've been looking forward to the most. So I'm going to go ahead and level out all this sand. And now we're going to put this big piece of driftwood back in here. And now we're going to take this new piece of driftwood that I found. I've been so excited to put this thing in a tank. And I want it to be like this. I want it to kind of stand up like this. So we're going to need to put a bunch of rocks around it. All right. So uh, we got something going on there. I don't really know what. But but right now what we're going for is just something to hold down that piece of driftwood. Of course, whenever it does stay down on its own, we can move those rocks. Oh, and then maybe we could use this one like right in here. Ooh, that looks good like that. All right, so that's what we're gonna go with for now. What we're gonna do next is move Ike and Bruce into the 125, then we'll watch them for a sec with the light on, see if they react to each other. And then we're gonna turn all the lights off in this whole room. So it's literally pitch black in here. Then in a couple hours, we'll come back down here, check in on them. What I've heard before is that whenever you turn off all the lights like that, all the fish will go to sleep and then when they wake up when the lights come back on they'll wake up thinking that they were like always with the new fish so hopefully that is what happens but now the moment we've all been waiting for let's go ahead and put ike and bruce into the 125 gallon tank all right we got ike here first oh god okay and there he goes wow look at him dude he looks big even in here and next up we've got bruce right here there he goes. And perfect. We got Bruce going to the left. Ike going to the right. That's exactly what I wanted. I want them to like each claim a side. I want Bruce to have this side. Ike to have this side. It's looking good so far. Hopefully it stays like that. But yeah, I think before they even really like see each other, I'm going to go ahead and turn these lights off. And like I said, hopefully they just wake up thinking that they were like always together. So I'm going to throw those glass lids back on there. Then I'm going to shut off all the lights in this whole room. And then we'll come back down here in like an hour or two. Check in on them. Hopefully everything's going good. But either way, I will see you then. Alrighty guys, it is about two and a half hours later. I am back down here in the fish room. And real quick, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on all the lights of the tanks, and then we'll take a look and see how everyone's doing. All right, and all the lights are now back on. And first, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the 75 gallon. Right back there under the big driftwood, it looks like we have the flower horn, the fire mouth, and the blood parrot. And then we had the green terror cichlid right over here on the other side of the tank alone. Of course, we're gonna give these guys a few minutes just to kind of wake up, and then we'll watch them for a little bit, see how they behave with each other. But now let's take a look at the 100 25 gallon tank and right off the bat it looks like ike and bruce actually switched spots we got ike on the left side and then bruce right under there on the right side so we are just gonna let everyone wake up for a little bit give them like 15 20 minutes and then i'll pick the camera back up so i'll see you then Alrighty guys, it has been about 15 minutes and all the fish are definitely starting to liven up. First of all, over here in the 75 gallon tank, you can see everyone's starting to move around. And I'm starting to notice Pluto is kind of giving the other cichlids some trouble, which honestly I was not expecting at all. If anything, I thought the others would be chasing him down and stuff. But so far he seems to be the aggressor in the tank. And you can see it's nothing too bad. He's just kind of staying on everyone's tail. Isn't really biting at them or anything though. So I'm definitely going to be keeping an eye on that. And if he doesn't stop and if it gets any worse, then I will be removing Pluto from the this tank but other than that all the other fish in the 75 are doing fine they were all together in the 125 before so they're all civil with each other we're just gonna need to keep an eye on pluto and then over here in the 125 we got ike and bruce coming up on each other they've been up and going for a couple minutes now i've been watching them and they've crossed paths like this quite a few times and they are not messing with each other at all they're definitely kind of checking each other out but they aren't chasing or anything they aren't biting at each other obviously i'm gonna keep watching for a while but so far everything in the 125 is going really well so what i'm gonna do now is just sit down here for the next hour or so and i'm gonna watch both of these tanks make sure everything's good if we have any problems in either of these tanks then i'll pick up the camera again and update you guys but if everything goes fine then i'll just see you guys in the morning so i don't know which one it's going to be hopefully we can just wait until the morning but either way i'll see you then 
All right, guys, so it is indeed the next day. However, last night I did decide to move Pluto out of the 75 gallon back into his 25 gallon. He was just getting overly aggressive, mainly toward the green terror and the fire mouth. He was honestly chilling with Kobe, which is kind of weird. I think that might have been trying to breed or something, but I did unfortunately have to break them up because he was just chasing and biting at the green terror and the fire mouth. So Pluto is back in his 25 gallon tank alone. And now that Pluto is gone, these other three cichlids are just chilling in the 75 gallon tank. They're all getting along great. Again, they were in the 125 together so they know each other pretty well and then over here in the 125 gallon tank i am honestly so surprised at how well ike and bruce are doing together you can see right there they are not being aggressive to each other at all they're acting like they've been together their entire lives and this honestly did catch me by surprise because you know these are my two biggest and most aggressive fish and i did predict that they would be able to live together in this tank but i just did not expect it to go this well i figured there would be at least a little bit of conflict like chasing and maybe a little bit of biting and stuff but there's just been none of that but with that being said they did have a couple standoffs where they just kind of square up to each other and flex a little bit and both times i saw them do that ike did make bruce back up which makes me think that ike is going to be the boss in this tank but again they just aren't being aggressive at all other than those two little standoffs which even in those they didn't even touch each other so yeah everything is just going great in the 125 and we got pluto in his 25 gallon tank all alone and he's going to stay all alone pretty much for the rest of his life i've tried putting pluto with other fish twice now and it failed both times which is completely normal by the way like it's rare to have a flower horn that can live with other fish so he will be staying alone in this 25 gallon tank for at least a couple more months i know earlier in this video i was saying how he just about outgrew this tank but if you really look at him like he's fine in there if anything i can just take out that big decoration and give him a little bit more swimming space but i think for him eventually whenever we make the 55 gallon into a turtle tank i'll just move all three of the turtles in there and then pluto can just have this 40 gallon but then of course if i move out later this year we can just get as many tanks as i want and not have to worry about having a shortage of space but yeah what i want to do now is actually feed the 75 and the 125 I did feed them last night and every single fish ate, but I do want to show you guys that on camera. Oh yeah, and then after that, we are going to put some of this gravel in both of the tanks. I was going to get some plants to go in both of these tanks as well, but I decided I actually don't want to do that. For American cichlids, I honestly prefer the no plant look. But yeah, we are going to be putting that gravel in there, but first we are going to feed both of these tanks. So we've got their pellets right here. Looks like they're already starting to come up, so we're going to drop those in. And look at that kobe already munching here comes the green terror oh i think the fire mouth sees it too yep there he goes so we're just gonna let them munch away and we're gonna drop in some pellets for ike and bruce and you can see both of them are already up here waiting and there it is look at that oh my goodness ike oh <laughs> oh my gosh dude i have never seen him strike like that bro bruce go get you some or ike is gonna eat all of it uh oh Ike is lining up again oh my goodness bruce you gotta go up there and get some dude ike is munching right now Yep, there you go, Bruce. So now the last thing we're going to do is put some of this gravel into both of these tanks. And I'm just going to set up a time lapse for that. And I'll talk to you guys when I'm done. Alrighty guys, and there is the final look for now. Again, once all this driftwood sinks on its own, we are gonna like move the rocks around. But yeah, I am definitely happy with how that gravel looks, especially here in the 75 gallon tank. I mean, that really pulled this tank together. I'm sure the fish are gonna love it as well. And that pretty much is gonna wrap up this video. Overall, I am very happy with how everything is going with these cichlids. Obviously, I wish Pluto would have been able to go in the 75 gallon tank with the others, but it is what it is. All the other fish are doing great with each other. So yeah, today's comment of the day goes out too. And if you want your comment to be the comment of the day in the next video all you got to do is drop a comment down below and that could happen and if you liked this video be sure to hit that like button do me a favor and hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and i'm gonna see you in the next video